but at the moment the buzz name is does play we're looking at 28 competitions over 28 days <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Losers Bracket Final of tonight's Does Play 4v4 Pay to Play. We've got the faction up against Mega. I'm Lockdog, and joining me for the first time in a while here on Does Play is Bioacid. Bio, how's it going? Hey, 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 good man. Good to be here, eh? Hey? Pod under the as well. Look, we've been to great teams with that big one up, and of course, the faction. Totally a great series after the five. Yeah, it's uh, been all the factions so far. Swifty just holding that hill extremely well, but he did get taken down. Now Mega, they're getting some points on the board. Hydra now on your screens, putting some shots out as Killipi takes down his teammate in Luca. And uh, taking down back and back as well, but Hydra is still in there trying to find him, putting a lot of shots out. We'll get the kill, but it's taken down in turn by Swifty, so the rotation will come out. It looks like Mega have uh, rotated a little bit better with uh, Bakabek trying to pick up those kills out on Snow. Did get taken down. Zeus just sitting out here on Orange trying to also pick up some kills as Luca currently on the hill. they got to clear him out of that one. He will do so. Takes down Swifty as well, trying to find the third. Can't quite do it. Yeah, kill a five. A nice little two-piece there to help clear that area out inside that hill and try to be seen in that vicinity to try and regain a bit of control. So you see that now, thanks to the faction, of course, by is part of that faction line, for those that are wondering. He does feel like that, that good old ID in his name, that's what you do see back and back as well, but of course, as everyone knows these days, Eminence replacing Kill by on that team, but right now, you know, don't know if it's the smartest move, because you do see the faction, they're going to town right now, they've got some good kills, some good spread in regards to the KDs as well, and they've got a good 20 points lead here, of course, that hill will rotate in 10 seconds drop now, you do notice all players starting the rotation as well, to try and set up here at blue, and try and get a bit of control happening, in these next three seconds, you're going to see them all push in, and realistically try and, you know, clear the other team out of that vicinity at the same time, we've got two players in Mega inside, as one player of the faction tries to push on through, Eminence is such sitting down quickly there, and a two-player hold right now for Mega. Yeah, and uh, Mega, they just, uh, they rotated amazingly well there. They held the last few points of that last hard point. They also got first onto this next hard point. Eminence currently in there contesting as he will pick up a kill. Back of backs, nay, does team kill him out there. So Killipi is going to be able to control that one now along with Blue as Blue takes down a kill there on Zeus Swifty taking down Hydra as well and uh, the faction they've been able to break into this blue hard point which is definitely one of the harder hills to break on this game and uh, they have done it well but Mega they've done the exact same thing back so neither team really having a great setup around this blue hard point. You know, you saw Mega with the original setup here to begin with, and like you said, you know, the faction did push in very quickly there, and they did take it out. I mean, it's two piece there, but too much to stop out on Luca, who pushed in there as well. He has to be a third one then, this Swifty finally shutting him down in that end. Of course, the hill has now rotated to top green, as all players heads around there. Swifty on my screen right now, a bit of FPS like for him, but he's going to manage to push up top green now. If his teammates of Luca is to try and now clean out this area, get that lead a bit more back in, in their favor. They had it at 20 points. Right or going to blue. Now they're down by almost five points here as Mega, Mega is about to tie it back up and perhaps get a lead going once again for themselves. If they can manage to do that and hold down green a little bit longer than this left 30 seconds remaining, I feel that these guys can start to you know, get a good momentum happening when it pushes that next rotation. And, and once you see that sort of happening, especially in the close quarter area like Violet, where it's going to head to next, I, I'm feeling that Mega should be able to keep that lead. Yeah, Mega, they've, uh, they've come back extremely well considering it was all the faction at the start of the game. So they're currently up by uh, 17 points at the moment. 10 seconds left. It looks like Swifty's going to get most of that scrap time. No one from uh, Mega really going to contest that one. They're all going to try and rotate into this bio lab. 10 points, the difference. Eminence just uh, trying to find kills, just searching around, watching each entrance. No one really contesting him yet as he does pick up his first kill there on Swifty. Now he's going to push out into purple. See a second one. We'll take down Killer Pie. And uh, the hill's actually contested, so he's got to get back in there, make sure that his team keeps control and at the moment, Mega. They are doing, as you said, an amazing job of just holding this bio lab. They are extremely good in close quarters, and uh, that's why at the moment they're almost 30 points up now with 30 seconds left on this first rotation. Yeah, well, this current hard point is the most contested out of them all. You know, it's where players can in from four different angles at once and try and hold them. They'll just keep double jumping up in corners, strafing around, boosting, dashing, 
and it sort of allows them just to keep those point margins down for they can. Who killed that from Phil Bites? Try to get a third here, does so nicely. Looks at how high tower down. Swift he team kills in there. Had enough of him for the rampage he was going on. Looking on a two-point streak as well. He was taking down that process. But 106 to 86 right now on that scoreboard. You do see the faction are trying to close it down a little bit of Mega once again. Are trying to get reset up here as that hill is going to now rotate down the bottom, bottom of the green inside that turbine. And all players will head to these corners, jumping around, just keep the double jump happening and trying to hold these guys down. They, that current kill feed, you know, all red, lining up for that mega squad right now as these guys do get a good control happening. Eminence and Hydra both on a three kill streak now, four kill streaks each. Both putting up some good numbers for this team and good capture numbers as well. As we see that, 129 to 86 at scoreline. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been an impressive display by Mega, especially on their rotations. They've been to the hard point first on pretty much every occasion, and that's why they were able to catch up after their deficit at the start. They're currently up by that 30 points exactly as Eminence does contest in. He will pick up one, finds a second one, takes down Blue. Zeus also got a double kill, so that was a four down momentarily there for the team of the faction, and Mega are just cleaning up in terms of kills. Eminence, he is 29 and 17 now as he does drop, and the faction do take control of that hard point with only seven seconds left to go so they're not going to get a great deal of time off that and yet again mega they've taken control of orange and uh taking control of the esky's hard point and it's just uh not really looking good for the faction at the moment they just haven't seemed to be able to rotate at the right times and uh stop pushing the last hard point when they needed to yeah, you got Zeus out the back here at Snow, he's trying to hold that area off and hold that flank down. Eminence was the man inside the hill. His team up Hydra now coming through for that respawn out there on Snow too. Does pick up a kill of his own. He's taking down a Blue. Blue's two-piece there. He's going to help that TS squad to try and push in and break it a little bit here. But at the same time, they don't have the players in the position they need to be at for that to happen. And just like that, you know, Eminence dashing out. He's got a kill dash back in. Like you said there, like Dog, you oh. know, he's pushing up, putting up great numbers right now. Sadly, he could pick up that kill. Blue's two-piece will shut them down and allowing the faction now to push in and break that hole that the Mega Squad had for the majority of this hill. Ten seconds left for it to rotate down to Blue now. And all you see players already heading that way. So good old Blue himself will get up his last scrap points and head out there in a moment. 167 at the moment to 122, you know. Two and a half minutes coming into our position shortly in regards to time remaining. And that'll be that final quarter when it does hit. Yeah, that's right, and uh, the Mega, yet again, just rotating early, especially for this blue hard point. It's a one that you can't really break very easily. It does take quite a long time to get to and get into, get those kills, especially with the corners that you can sit in. And an early rotation is always good when you're going to this one. Mega, they let the faction get the last 17, 18 points off the last hard point over on Eskies. They just rotated here early, and they have got the first 30 seconds already pretty much uncontested, really. They've just been slaying around it and Hydra picking up another two piece. Luca is going to get in there though. He finds two, three. There we go. Takes down Zeus. Can't quite pick up Eminence. Eminence is going to clean that one up. He's on 37 and 19. Let's jump on board with him on heel as he sees another player. Will take down Swift. He gets taken down by Killer Pie though, but Zeus and Hydra are also taking down this scrap time. Mega, they haven't rotated. This is the first time they really haven't been able to get to the next hard point first, but that's just because they locked down that blue hard point so well. They didn't really need to. They're currently 70 points ahead, and they've just been able to break back a back now holding that green hard point for his team. Yeah, you know, it's just like you said, that blue hard point was just there to the back in the rest of the That's exactly what happened. It's going to probably get very close to that 250, if not achieve it during this current hard point. They need 30 more seconds. They've got 40 seconds possible hill time. To obtain from that, Eminence is watching inside there at red. He's got his teammates up high, grabbing all, that, all those points in that time for him. Well, these guys just try and lock down this bit of a small control, so to speak. As they pop up out through red, they're just getting taken down, getting tags on it, picking up the assist. And it should be game, I think, off this current hill, unless TS somewhere managed to break it for this next remaining time. 18 seconds left on that clock. They've got two players up there. TF pushes hard just then. Luke comes in on top. He will break it. Six seconds is all Mega needs as that he will rotate in nine seconds from now to that next spot and perhaps the final spot as these guys get set ready for battle. Yeah, there's only, uh, there's only four seconds that the team of Mega need to get to uh, clean up this game. 250 points. They can't lose anyway even if they don't get any points off this hill. But they'll still want to get those 250 in as Eminence will pick up those kills. Hydra and Zeus are going to sit on the hill for the last few seconds as they tick down. And uh, Mega, an extremely impressive display here on Hardpoint, considering they were down about 25 to 0 to start off with on yeah. that first circle Hardpoint. They just uh, came back and their rotations were just too strong. 
Oh, definitely. You know, TF had a good start to that match. It, it was surprising to see how it went out in the end. You know, look at those catches and defends. They're pretty much looking good for most for both teams, obviously, with the bit higher mark there from that mega squad in the end. That's what you expect from the winning team. But, you know, TF put up some good numbers overall as well. Blue. Now, I saw him get a couple of good doubles and triples in there, but sadly it wasn't big enough for him. 18 and 36 to his name. But, you know, Eminence, he, he started off slow there as well. So he was going pretty poorly at the beginning. That sort of may have been why we saw that scoreline be what it was at the start, you know, 30 seconds to nil. Once Eminence sort of turned it on, picked up a few little kills there, ended up going plus 21. Then that's, that's where you sort of see back where it broke out. He got 10 captures, 14 defense for him. Almost a 2 KD in regards to that. And that's some big numbers to put up against a team like the Faction. Yeah, that is just a, an immense score. And when you've got Hydra sitting there getting uh, 10 defense, 6 caps, and 33 kills right next mm. to you, then uh, it's going to be very, very hard to lose a game like that. And uh got to say, it's just the team of the faction just weren't able to really pick up the amount of kills that they needed, all of them dropping uh, negative KD ratios, and Swifty the most kills with 30 exactly. There was two players on Mega that outscored him, so... Not really the uh, the scores that you'd usually see out of the faction, but that can all change in map number two. So we're going to go to a quick break, and uh, when we return, we'll have map number two between the faction and Mega. But at the moment, the buzz name is Does Play. We're looking at 28 competitions over 28 days. <laughs> 